one of the well, I would say, like definitely one of the better striking opponents at that weight class. For somebody who John, for John Jones, who's went against strikers, but isn't necessarily like the best of strikers. I think that, of course, it causes it poses a little bit of a challenge for him. One, because he's a bigger guy and taking him down isn't just going to be like some cakewalk. And two, like he has the knockout power to, you know, put John Jones out. And we've seen him display that against other people. Um, however, I think that John Jones is well-rounded enough to kind of throw some things that's for real gone. And like, you know, probably I would say catch him enough off guard to eventually get him. I don't see this fight going all the way and call me crazy, but I, I have John Jones by TKO or KO by the third, possibly second. So I see, I, I think John Jones will win this fight, but I think it's going to be by decision. I think that the new weight class plus him coming off a, a three-year layoff is going to kind of affect it. I think the first two rounds might be hard rounds for John, but as I think the fight goes along, I think he's going to find his rhythm, and I think he's going to be able to start make it, mixing things up very well against Cyril Gaunt. Now, listeners, I know people, there are big fans of John Jones out there, but what I will say in positive Cyril Gaunt is Cyril Gaunt can win this fight, but his way to win this fight isn't going to be through a decision. He's going to have to finish John Jones, but he's also got to be careful because even though that he lost uh, – to a lesser grappler um and Francis. I I don't know if Cyril Gon really improved his game from f- since then when it comes to grappling. Now I know the thing is like, oh well John, he might not be able to he might struggle with the weight difference. And that's a fact that might be true. But I believe somebody like him, you might have to give benefit of the doubt. There were a lot of people call him the GOAT for a reason. And it's not because he's their favorite fighter is because of what he has done in the past. So I am picking John, but I just don't think John is going to finish Cyril gone. I think John is going to win by decision. Um, I, I, I don't know. Honestly, I think this fight, I don't think this fight is going to be a competitive fight, man. I just don't. I think this fight, it's either going to go one or two ways. One, Cyril just fucks him up and KOs him or John, you know, starts breaking him down as the rounds go along. It's going to be one or the other. I don't see this being a back and forth technical masterpiece fight. I just don't. I think it's going to be. And I think by the time we see the third round hits, we're going to see. We're going to see if, hey, things are not looking good for Cyril or shit. John is about to get knocked out. Yeah, I, that's the thing about Cyril Gaon. Like, I don't see him winning in any way other than like knocking him out. Like, I definitely don't see him submitting him. You know what I mean? Like, I'll, he's not going to take him down and try and work him. He's just not, th- not that type of fighter. So if he doesn't knock John Jones out, I just see the way to dif- the way to victory being very difficult. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I, I, I don't want to count Cyril out, man, because Cyril is legitimately good. I'm just trying to just go off the strength of like, you know, John's past when he's fighting opponents. Like he literally, he does a fight the same way in, in most of his fights. Yeah. If somebody's like, Oh, well he has tendencies. Every fighter has tendencies, but generally when you're game planning for John, you can't game plan for him based off the Dominic Reyes fight. He's going I I believe he's gonna fight totally different from the Dominic Reyes fight. Yeah, I so, think he's gonna look improved on the feet. Huh? I think he's gonna look improved on the feet from that fight. Well, I mean, we'll see. Because he's he's not going against he's going against somebody who's really who who his striking is probably the best striking in the heavyweight division right now. I That's know people I- are like I know people are like, oh well, Francis got the knockout power in the box. And yeah, Francis does. But as you've seen in the his fight with gone. Francis didn't beat him off of on the feet. He took him down. Exactly. Francis beat him because of wrestling alone. And that, that to me showed a lot. Like, hey, this guy, Cyril Khan, on the feet, he is on another level with heavyweight. Now, will it translate when he's going against John? We will see. I do think John will be get he will get hit in this fight. Oh, yeah. It's just, is he gonna get hit hard enough to to get to go to sleep? 
I don't. We'll see. See, the the thing that really kind of throws me off about this fight is like, you know, Cyril Gone came out and said he was lazy recently. And I was like, you know, I don't necessarily think that's the case. But what I do think is that sometimes he gets so into having a kickboxing match that he can get lulled into a bad fight for him. And if he does that in this fight, it's going to be a bad night for him. It mm. is. So I kind of disagree with that, though, right? Because like, I, for the tattoo Vasa thing, it kind of makes sense, right? Tattoo Vasa, his fighting style is more into like a dog fight. John Jones and Cyril Gunn, they're kind of similar, where they're okay with picking off, picking up uh, opponents from a distance and breaking them down as the fight moves along. If the finish is there, of course they'll go get it. But if it's not there, they're 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 patient enough to continue breaking their opponents down. I don't think John Jones is the type of fighter to walk fighters down and turn it into a dog fight. I don't think I'm not saying John Jones can't adapt into a dog fighting situation. I think we've seen that with like the Daniel Cormier fight and shit like that, the second one. But I just don't think he's the one to initiate that. I think this I think this fight it will be kind of like who's making mistakes. That's it. I don't and what I mean by that is like it's really going to it, it's going to start out as a game of inches until one of them figures out okay, I see that they're doing this. I could get him I could get his ass right here. So I I really think that I don't think this is going to be a dog fight. I, I, on paper and on the promotion marketing, John versus gone. I get it. But I don't think this fight is going to be a barn burner fight. It's not going to be like Islam and Volkanovsky. It's not going to be like that. That fight was a classic. It was this great. fight here. Yeah, this fight here, it's going to be. I think is I really think I really think this fight is going to be more tactical than it is entertainment. I guess my thing about it is this, right? Like I hear what you're saying. Like John probably wouldn't walk him down and this, that, and the third. And I, I get I get what you're saying, but it, in Surreal Gon's fights, we've seen him kind of, you know, sit back a lot. I'm wondering what he's like when somebody's like pressing him the way on um, Francis and Gandhi did. Like hey, you're going to be moving around a lot. You know what I mean? Because it's like, at the end of the day, John Jones isn't just going to sit back and let him kick him all day either. You know what no, I mean? He's No, he's not. Absolutely, he's not. But I don't think Cyril has to worry about, like, for example, Tatu, Tatu Vasa, when he dropped Cyril and looked like he was about to KO him, Yeah, because Ty was willing to walk into the fire. Yes. I don't think John is going to be so willingly to walk into the fire unless he sees something where like, okay, I can, I can take this type of risk. For sure. That's fair. I, I hear what you're saying, I guess, in that respect. Well, um, I guess we're going to have to wait and see until next week and listen as we will be back next week to, you know, get some review on this. Um, you probably end up seeing us a lot in the month of March. So be prepared for that. Uh, Lyle, do you have anything to say to the people? Um, I'll, first, I just want to say thank you to the listeners and the viewers. Um, please continue to support us. Please follow us at the Highly Advised Podcast on Instagram, Advise Highly on Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's the Highly Advised Podcast. Make sure you comment us, uh, like our stuff, review, share with a friend or family member. We're very appreciative. We're very grateful. We are doing this MMA uh podcast because we're both big fans of the sport of mma we have been for a very long time and and we like to interact with people who also like mma whether whether you guys are or you guys are gals because you know there's a lot of women that's really into the sport of mixed martial arts whether you guys are diehard hardcore fans or casual fans we'll be gladly to talk to either of you um we can't wait. I can't wait to do the next uh, episode of this because I want to review the fights and hopefully the listeners and the viewers continue to tune in to us. So thank you. Yeah. Leave a comment. Let, let us know if you um hit a parlay. Let us know if you play a parlay in the first place to hit, Um, you know, let us know if you think that our predictions are wrong. Let us know if you think our predictions are right. Um, Be here for the review. Let us know what you think. We will see y'all next time. We're out. Peace.